G'day folks and welcome to another episode of Source on the Sidelines. We're out at Tigerland after East win over Sunnybank in round eight of the Newstead Brewing Hospital Challenge Cup. We're here with Scrum Half Phoenix Hunt. Phoenix, really tight game in the end there, mate. What were your overall thoughts on that one? Yeah, it was a really good game against Sunnybank. Um, we knew we had our hands tied coming into this game and uh, we really took it to them. Coming off a really disappointing loss last week against North, we really wanted to bounce back, especially in front of a great home crowd here. And um, yeah, credit to the boys, really hung in there. Especially with Sunnybank, they drove us right to the last minute, especially with the scrum pressure and dominance. And mate, you mentioned the crowd there, mate. Um, how special is it to play here at home and have just about everyone from the lower grades here uh, screaming at you? Oh, it's like no other. I mean, coming to a great club like East, like, I can't compare it to anyone else, really. Like, especially the Colts boys, throughout the entire grades, actually, the whole club, they, we just get around it and the spirit's just unreal. Sticking around for a beer, it's all about mateship here, I reckon. It's unbelievable. Now, mate, have you seen Sunnybank today? Uh, they had an approved performance against GPS last week. Um, how did you think they were going to perform heading into this clash? And uh, I suppose they delivered getting out to an early lead there. Uh, we knew Sunnybank was a pretty, pretty, pretty big side, actually, and we knew they were going to play to their strengths. But, um, yeah, we couldn't really take them lightly. And they got some dangers all around the park, especially Tom Lucas, Hayden Sargent, Dylan Mahongi. And um, mate, obviously heading into the second half, um, trailing, what was sort of the message at half-time coming back out um, to try to get back some ascendancy? Oh, it really, really wasn't too much different to what we did in the first half. We just, they just really capitalised on our errors, Sunnybank, and they really punished us on the opposite end of the field. I mean, the first half score didn't really reflect our effort. I mean, I really felt we had them in the sword in the first 20, in the 22, in the first 15, 20 minutes of the game. It was just we are unlucky to capitalise. Mate, obviously you playing behind a really solid forward pack here who got some scrum ascendancy today. How special is it, mate, to have them lay such a good platform for you guys to work on? Oh, it's unreal, actually, especially the front row and the scrums. I mean, we've chopped and changed our front row quite a few times this year, especially with Carter out and Reese out with the 20s. And we had a few of the... We had actually one of our Colts boys just step in, Zachy. He did a great job today. Even it's great to have Schiller back today as well. And it's a guy like that. It brings a lot of energy to the club. And for you, mate, you've got your half partner back for the first week this time around with Jack Frampton starting at 10, mate. Um, how special is it to have him back in the side? Yeah, he's unreal. I mean, I like playing with him on the field. He's a good communicator on and off the field. And we sort of have two different views on the game. And ultimately, it just benefits our team and what we need to do best. And so it's unreal. Now, mate, obviously playing for the Rick Tyrrell Cup today, mate. Um, obviously, it adds a little bit of extra meaning to the clash with Sunnybank each year. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a really it's a really good cause to go to get with to, oh, to get behind the mental health awareness, and especially for the two clubs to get together with Rick Terrell playing both at East and Sunnybank and coaching at East as well. And it's a really special thing, especially the tradition where we swap our socks at the East ground. I mean, it's unreal. It just shows just goes to show the amount of people that work and go behind the scenes. Thanks for that one, Phoenix. All right, folks, that's it for out here at Tigerland for round eight of the Newstead Brewing Hospital Challenge Cup. Stay tuned for more Queensland Premier Rugby content through the week via the Facebook page.